This video was put together specifically for you and those who support you. It's normal to feel overwhelmed or anxious when you or someone you care about is diagnosed with congestive heart failure. Heart failure is a chronic condition. In most cases, it will not disappear. Without proper treatment, this condition can worsen. However, we know that with a treatment plan, including medications and lifestyle changes, patients have a significant chance of improvement. That's why we want to tell you about the Zone Tool. The Zone Tool helps you manage your heart failure so it interferes as little as possible with your daily life. When it comes to living with heart failure, knowledge is power. But before we tell you about the Zone Tool, let's briefly discuss heart failure, what it really means, and what causes it. What is heart failure? Heart failure results when your heart loses its ability to pump enough blood through your body. In most cases, heart failure develops slowly over a period of years. However, following a severe heart attack or a virus, heart failure can develop very quickly. How serious your condition is depends on many factors. Three of the more important influences are your symptoms, how much blood your heart can push out when it contracts, and your response to medical therapy. Heart failure is a chronic condition. In most cases, it will not disappear and it can't be cured. Taking the right medication at the right time and paying attention to the foods you eat and how much fluid you drink every day will help your heart continue to do its job. In most cases, this leads to improved heart function. What causes heart failure? The cause of heart failure can be from one or more of the factors in this list, or sometimes the cause is unknown. A heart attack, narrowing or clogging of the heart arteries, uncontrolled high blood pressure, diseases of the heart valves or the heart muscles, infection of the heart valves or muscles, defects in the heart that are present at birth, irregular heartbeats, being overweight, having diabetes, an enlarged heart or a family history of, drinking too much alcohol, chronic lung or kidney disease, pregnancy, chemotherapy, or drug use. An interesting characteristic of heart failure is that it is one disease where the individual who has it plays a large role in determining how he or she is affected, for better or for worse. Its progression is very much determined by your lifestyle and the daily decisions you make with respect to eating, drinking, and performing new activities to manage the disease. To help you do all that in the easiest and most efficient way possible, we use the Zone Tool. If you are feeling overwhelmed, the Zone Tool can help you get a handle on what to do and when to do it. Your heart may be weakened, but the use of the Zone Tool will help you optimize your heart function and eliminate or reduce your symptoms of heart failure. Physically, the Zone Tool is simply a two-sided piece of paper with an area to track your weights and directions for helping you to recognize your heart failure symptoms using zones. This helps to identify and report symptoms early so your doctor can provide treatment before these symptoms get worse and you end up in the hospital. Let's have some of our heart failure staff go over each part and teach you how to use it. The blue section at the top of the handout is the part that lists the daily activities that we'd like you to perform every day to keep your heart pumping along at its best. Here are the activities. Weigh yourself in the morning before breakfast and write it down on the back of this form. Be diligent to do this every day when you first get up, before eating or drinking, and without clothes. Why? 
Weight gain over just a few days is not from getting fat, rather it's from retaining water. Because of heart failure, your body is less able to hold onto the optimum amount of water, and now you have to take responsibility for managing your fluid balance by eating less salt, not drinking too much fluid, and taking your diuretic, the medication that makes you pee. If you become fluid overloaded, you may start to experience typical heart failure symptoms like shortness of breath, swelling of your feet and ankles. Weighing yourself every day gives you valuable feedback about how much water your body is retaining because this extra fluid can overwhelm your heart and cause these symptoms. Work with your pharmacist and prescriber to come up with a medication plan that's right for you. Remembering to take your medications as prescribed every day is critical for two reasons. Medications help prevent your heart from getting weaker and help to get rid of the excess fluid that causes your heart failure symptoms. Some people may experience side effects when they first start taking new medications. Usually, these side effects lessen or go away after a few weeks. If not, your pharmacist and physician team may be able to offer alternatives. Always take your medications. They will make you feel better in the long run. Not everyone gets swelling, but if you are one of those people, look for swelling in your feet, ankles, stomach, or hands, and ask yourself, do I have any swelling in these areas compared to my baseline? If you do, it's great feedback that you're starting to get fluid overloaded and need to take action. This happens because a weak heart is not able to accommodate any extra fluid, so it starts to back up into parts of the body and causes edema or swelling. Fluid can also back up into the lungs and cause shortness of breath. Eat low salt foods. This basically means avoiding the use of a salt shaker and limiting intake of packaged and restaurant foods. Salt, also known as sodium, can be a magnet for fluid. The more salt you eat, the more fluid you may retain. One teaspoon of salt equals 2,300 milligrams of sodium, which would be your limit for the day. Processed food usually contains a lot of salt. Eat unprocessed whole natural food if you can, and read food labels on processed foods if you haven't got the time and money to make your food from scratch. Food labels refer to salt as sodium. Check this label. How much sodium does this serving contain? The answer is 890 milligrams. Balance your daily activities with rest. Pace yourself throughout the day. High levels of physical or mental stress can make your heart condition worse. Activity balanced with rest gives the best results. But you still need to move and exercise. It's good to push yourself a little. Cardiac rehab can give you feedback as to how much activity you can do safely. Ask your doctor if you're eligible for cardiac rehab. What zone are you in today? Green, yellow, or red? Now it's time to talk about the zones. The whole point of the zone tool is to help you figure out what zone you are in today and respond accordingly. There are three zones, green, yellow, and red. Green is good you want to be in the green zone. Yellow is not so good. In fact, it's bad. Bad enough that if you are in the yellow zone, you need to contact your doctor. The red zone is even worse. In fact, if you are watching this video from home and learn that you are in the red zone, then stop watching and call 911. On the other hand, if you are watching the video at Providence, then you already got the message that the red zone means prompt hospitalization. So let's talk about how to know which zone you are in.
To know if you are in the green zone, ask yourself the following questions. One, am I short of breath or having trouble breathing? Two, have I gained weight, specifically more than two pounds since yesterday when I last weighed myself, or five pounds or more in the last week? Three, do I have any swelling in my feet, ankles, stomach, or hands? Four, do I have any chest discomfort, heaviness, or pain? If you can answer no to all of these questions, then you are in the green zone. If you answered yes to one or more of these questions, then it may mean that your congestive heart failure is worsening. It may mean that fluid is backing up into your lungs or other parts of your body. If you answered yes to any of these questions, it also means that you've moved into the yellow or the red zone and it's time to take action. Let's learn about these zones now. You are in the yellow zone if you have one or more of these symptoms. One, weight gain of three pounds in two days or five pounds in one week. Two, more swelling of your feet, ankles, stomach, or hands. Three, it is harder for you to breathe when lying down and you need to sit up. Four, chest discomfort, heaviness, or pain. Five, you feel more tired or have less energy than normal. Six, new or worsening dizziness. Seven, dry hacking cough. Or eight, you feel uneasy and you know something is not right. If you are in the yellow zone, you need to contact your doctor's office and discuss the symptoms that put you in this zone. You may be taking in more fluid than your body can handle. Your doctor may increase the dosage of your diuretic, reduce your fluid limit, and or have you come into his office for further examination and more tests. This is not something that you can sit on or otherwise ignore. If you do, you may end up in the red zone. The red zone can come quickly after noticing yellow zone symptoms, so do not wait for an upcoming appointment to notify your doctor. The red zone. If you have any of the following symptoms, you are in the red zone and need to call 911 right away. It may mean that your fluid overload or heart failure has become much worse, or that your heart is struggling in some other way. You are struggling to breathe, and this does not go away when you sit up. Stronger and more regular amounts of chest discomfort. New confusion or can't think clearly. Fainting or near fainting. The red zone is very serious, and if you don't call 911, you may put your life at risk. It almost always requires hospitalization. Managing your heart failure by doing all the daily activities listed in the blue box of the zone tool will help keep you out of the red zone. But there is just one more activity that you need to perform each day, which involves marking a form on the back page. This is where you record or log your daily weight. This data gives great feedback in the form of a trend, which can help your doctor understand how you got into the yellow zone or red zone if that were to happen. Take this form with you whenever you visit the doctor. Fill it out every day and notice if your weight is increasing. The zone tool can be an effective way to help you manage your condition, but only if you use it on a daily basis and take the action that it requires. After watching this video, you might have a few questions about using the zone tool. If you do, be sure to ask your nurse or you can watch the zone tool video part two, frequently asked questions on this iPad or online. Thanks for watching. The zone tool helps you organize your response to the challenge of managing heart failure. It makes it easy to remember what to do with the right medical care and lifestyle changes, your heart problems should not stop you from doing the things you enjoy the most.